for want of a better term, what woke you up? Okay, um, in 2005, I was at uh, Brigham Young University, a professor. My wife took me to a meeting, uh, actually it was a very large group uh, discussing preparedness and uh, just food storage, something that we believe in, I guess, and think is important. And uh, at this uh, discussion, there was, uh, the speaker was talking about uh, preparing, getting food, why you should get food, water, you know, how you can buy things on sale and then use them for weeks after that. And you know, what a good idea it is to buy food in bulk and then, and then you have it if you need it, you know. Okay, so that was good. But then this, uh, this speaker said, now, she just paused in the middle of her discussion and just kind of out of the air, she said, now if you think that those towers on 9-11 came down just because they were hit by planes, you have some major surprises ahead of you. Yeah. And about half the audience was just, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> and I was sitting there, I do not know what she is talking about. What in the world is she talking about? So I got on the uh, computer the next day or two, yeah. and I started exploring. And fortunately, I came ac across uh, WTC7.net, and for the first time I saw Building 7 come down. This was not hit by a plane at all. So I pulled out my stopwatch, which I still have one with me, you know, and I timed the fall. I looked up the height of it. It turned out that uh, a free fall, just dropping something freely, will fall in uh, six and a half seconds, that height from the roof. The roof itself fell because I timed it in about, uh, I, I, let me get that straight, six seconds for something dropped from the roof, six and a half seconds for the roof itself to fall. So that's just about free fall. I thought, wait a minute, that can't, that doesn't make any sense. This, uh, this building had all this concrete and steel, hundreds of thousands of tons in the way. I can't just fall at free fall. Free fall means nothing in the way. Where's the resistance? Where's the resistance to the fall of this bell? And that's what got me going and woke me up. And I'll tell you, uh, for after I started studying this, read about that, uh, read Secretary of Transportation at the time, Norman Mineta, yeah. he explained why, uh, how they were tracking this plane coming towards the Pentagon yeah. for, for a long time and nothing was done. And then it smashed and killed all these people. Yeah. And I thought, that isn't right. There was an opportunity there for air defenses. There were no air defenses that day, particularly the Pentagon, where they, they had so much time to track the plane. Why was there no air defenses? And he said that uh, Cheney was involved and in, in not uh, responding, he was being informed, but was not responding with air defense. So then I thought, wait, it's more than just some Coincidence, there's lots of things going on here. No air defenses that day. Uh, they said the dust was safe when it was toxic. Yeah. Scientists t said it was toxic, and I checked that myself. There is asbestos and yeah. so on in the dust. It's highly toxic. Uh, the building comes down, which wasn't hit by a plane, yeah. you know, near free fall. That means explosives move yeah. stuff out of the way. I mean, it just boom, boom, boom. And I lost some sleep there for a couple days and then I thought well I'm gonna have to study this further and that's when we I looked at the dust well that was later but looked at the dust and found the pyrotechnic material in the dust so to me you now it's become very clear and uh, it's really uh, sad for the country actually for the United States it, it's a dark cloud hanging over the country so many people around the world realize that uh, what's happened here and, um, and yet, if we could just have an investigation in the country ourselves uh, and seek justice, uh, I push for an impeachment of Dick Cheney. I think I did the right thing. That was back 2006 and 2007 while he was still in office. But, you know, people just didn't want to hear about it, still don't, frankly to a large extent. But nevertheless, there are many who are waking up and who seek for justice for these uh, slain. And of course, the 9-11 wars are built upon this 
notion that it was just Al Qaeda that yeah. you know brought the plane, the buildings down, even though one wasn't even hit by a plane. Nevertheless, that's Al Qaeda. Everything blame on Al Qaeda, and then what? We go send all these troops and kill all these people, and these wars go on and on now for a decade. This year, uh, there's something uh, very wrong, and uh, I think it's important to. My sense is to do what I can to bring forth the facts, the truth about what really happened on 9-11 and let people then explore these uh, data for themselves. Yeah. And you, I mean, there's been significant professional cost to you <laughs> by standing up. Yes, I mean, you, that's you, true. You've been through it, really. Uh, that's certainly true. Um, yes, as soon as I started talking about, well, questioning the official story, which yeah. is just Al-Qaeda, don't ask questions yeah. about the building. Yeah coming down, <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, yes, I, I received severe criticism and uh, finally, um, well, long story short, I was put on an administrative leave and uh, invited to accept early retirement. I asked for a review, you know, of my uh, work, of my research, of my experiments that all pointed to something explosives used in any case on 9-11 but uh, I was not granted that review unfortunately at the time. Uh, I will say that since then we, we s discovered this pyrotechnic material in the dust which we've written a, a large paper on. That paper was reviewed at my university because there was another uh, PhD there who uh, uh, Jeff Ferrer is on the paper and uh, so they ha basically he asked them to review the paper and they did and they approved it they said it's good science they didn't particularly like it I think uh, but uh, it was good science and so it was published and so in effect uh, I've had the review that I wanted and it came out favorable I mean one of the reviewers uh, there at, uh, at BYU said well, I'm convinced that explosives were involved in the towers to bring them down, you know, <laughs> the way they fell. So, uh, but as far as my career, uh, it ended with uh, my questioning the official story of 9-11. But it didn't stop you talking. No, I kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably reached a lot more people being outside uh, the system. That's, I think, probably true. And, and, and you know, um, it's a, it's a, it's really a struggle, but it's a worldwide effort to to get these facts out to people. And I'm amazed that in other countries, what was it, uh, Germany? There was a question. Basically, in in essence, the question is: Do you believe the official U.S. government story of 9/11 or not? And 89 plus percent said, No, we don't believe the U.S. government story of 9/11. So the word is getting out, the facts are getting out, and that's important.